Tom Mish is a London-based musician, producer, and songwriter known for his unique blend of soul, jazz, and hip-hop. In this video, we will explore Tom Mish's musical journey from his early days as a bedroom producer to his current status as a celebrated musician. I knew a boy who was swallowed by the sky. Tom Mish was born on June 25th, 1995 in London, United Kingdom. He grew up in an artistic family and picked up the violin as his first instrument at the age of six. Although Tom never continued to study the instrument, he found his calling when he first picked up a guitar at the age of nine, after his sister had stopped pursuing learning the instrument. In his early days on the guitar, he taught himself songs from the artists like the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Nirvana, and was heavily influenced by John Mayer. I knew a time, I knew a place that felt a lot like you. Tom's sound really started to develop when he was introduced to Jay Dilla at the age of 15. Jay Dilla was a pivotal player in the hip-hop production world, influencing the off-beat or off-the-grid style of beat making and drumming. Soon after discovering his appreciation for hip-hop, he attended Langley Park School for Boys to study music technology. It was during this time that Tom found his love for beat making. Tom began uploading his beats to SoundCloud, which gained many people's attention on the internet, including Joe K, co-founder of Selection, who later invites Tom to contribute to Selection's eighth white label. Tom's early music on SoundCloud consisted of boom bap type beats where he sampled jazz records. It wasn't until his collaborations with Carmody, another London-based singer, began to help shape Tom's songwriting skills. As Tom continued to grow a large online presence with the help of SoundCloud, he decided to study jazz guitar at Trinity Laban in Deptford. After some time, Tom ended up dropping out because his music was rapidly taking off and quickly realized that he was not interested in learning jazz in school. After the release of Beat Tape 1 and 2 and a few of his other projects, Tom began writing music for his next album that would solidify his recognition as an artist worldwide. The album was Geography, released on April 6, 2018. Geography is a melting pot of genres that range from soul, jazz, alternative, and disco. Artists like Kay Trinata, D'Angelo, and Robert Glasper influenced Tom's overall sound by intertwining his vocal and guitar talents, shaping Geography's unique blend of flavor and feel. Tom's wide appreciation for music opened a door for him to establish a sound that left a mark in the music industry which left the trail for young and new artists to follow. The lyricism on Geography takes the listener on a ride from a soft ballad longing for a distant individual to conversational, love-filled lines, masterfully crafting a poetic approach to his lyrics. Despite the remarkable success of Geography, Tom was dissatisfied with the album because he felt rushed to complete the project due to deadlines. Although Tom felt uncertain of Geography's final production, he sold out shows across the US and toured throughout Europe and Asia. Tom's next adventure began when he met Yusef Days, an experimental jazz fusion drummer from South London at a party for Geography in 2018. Ironically, Tom claims he had seen Yusef Days play drums at a school talent show when he was nine years old. The two developed a chemistry that fed each other's musical hunger. What started out as a couple recordings in the studio, the two organically produced more tracks after countless hours of sessioning. With Tom's ability to write catchy melodies and Yusef's experimental and rhythmic ideas, the two decided to put out a whole album together called What Kind of Music, released on April 24th, 2020. Comparing What Kind of Music to Geography, Tom took a turn from creating something his fans were familiar with to a space that challenges the listener's expectations. 
What kind of music pulls the listener into a heavier jazz influenced atmosphere without going into the deep end of being engulfed into an avant-garde space? It's safe to say that Tom isn't worried about making money or being famous. In fact, he states that, quote, I don't want to be massive. I feel like I'm already pretty big, you know? When you have loads of money pushed into you as an artist, you're not big because people like your music. You're big because you've been pushed in front of people, end quote. Since the release of What Kind of Music, Tom hasn't released any official music aside from his quarantine covers, which were re-uploaded from his YouTube. However, in April of 2022, Tom created an alter ego project called Super Shy. This new venture has allowed Tom to focus on making deep house, soul, and disco-esque music. It's almost as if he's starting from his roots again, making music in his bedroom. From being a SoundCloud producer to playing on big stages like Coachella and Montreux Jazz Festival, Tom's passion for music making continues to drive him to new soundscapes throughout his career. It's hard to define Tom's current sound today, but his beat making, buttery licks, and beautiful songwriting are iconic elements in his music throughout his career.